Keith, just ask and you shall receive because last week weren't you a little bored? Not a lot going on and I now was. you've got two storms to follow. And let's not forget that I was such a weenie that last week I was yes. talking about next this coming weekend. Yes. And that storm's yep. still there. So <laughs> it's like I'm so bored. Yeah, yeah. It's still there. Let's deal with this little one tonight first though. And uh, it is a just a little clipper type system from Cleveland and stretching into upstate New York. And you can see it's not a big deal, but there's some consistent light snow back here. So overnight tonight will cloud up. We'll start to get some of that snow in here. Looks like before midnight uh, south of Lewiston, we'll start to see some periods of light snow, maybe briefly moderate along the coastline in the middle of the night. That's where we'll do most of our accumulation. So you might wake up tomorrow morning in southern coastal Maine and uh, southern Maine in general and actually have to move some snow shovel it maybe or just push it aside depending on your exact location. The snow continues through the morning commute here Bangor into Waterville into Bar Harbor. It gets maybe a little bit locally enhanced from Bangor down into Wiscasset through the afternoon. We should stay snow though pretty much everywhere and then we end this thing before sunset tomorrow. It's a quick moving storm then reinforcing shots of cold air come in. And it's chilly again on Wednesday, nice and sunny. Thursday is a frigid start, but sunny again. There's really nothing going on here through the middle of the week other than that it's cold again before uh, we talk about our next storm system. So two to four inches I think should do it here and then coating to two broadly across much of the state. I mean, it's hard. There could be a couple of pockets that do a little better than this, but this is not a big deal either way. Just be aware there will be some light snow to move around. All right, let's get to the fun stuff. Uh, this storm system that we're talking about for the weekend, it's still there. It's still well modeled. If anything, it looks stronger. So let's talk about what it could be. It will be uh, a Miller type A is what we call it. Storm system, which develops down in the southeast, moves up the eastern seaboard. We know there will be a big storm here on Saturday morning. The question is where exactly is this low? This is the European model. In this position, this is a big deal for us on Saturday into Saturday night and even Sunday. I mean, this would be, it's a foot plus easy in this position uh, as far as snow goes. So the question is, does the low stay here? Does it push a little bit farther inland and we get a little rain mixed in? Does it wobble this way and it becomes a little lighter of a storm? Although this storm's so strong, even out here, I think we'd be looking at some, some decent accumulating snow. So as you can probably tell, I'm fairly uh, bullish on this storm and we will see what happens with it on Saturday and Saturday night. This is what the European model thinks the chances are of a foot or more snow and it has some 60 to 70% contours five days in advance that's saying a lot. So big storm Saturday. Uh, and we'll see which way it wobbles. Does it wobble warm or does it wobble cold? I'm not sure, but we'll see. It'll definitely be around over the weekend. And that's the big story. In addition to that, as you can imagine, guys, if that storm is in that position, it will also be quite windy because you can't get a low that close without getting some strong winds. So, uh, so drifting. Snow drifting. Snow dri yeah, oh yeah, I mean that that spot in that spot, the European model, even the GFS, that's a, it is a true blizzard in the sense that you would have uh, reduced visibility, all that. Now it's Monday and that's Saturday. Yep. So yep. even yep. I know that things will wobble a little bit. So let's figure <laughs> out where that wobble is and then we'll, we'll go from there. Lots to keep your eye on. Yep. All right, Keith, thanks.